Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. My name is Ani, and I want you all to know that I have a new uh, Facebook page under Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen, and I would really appreciate if you go over there and check it out. Actually, all the recipes from here will be posted on there, not the entire recipe, but a picture of a, a, a recipe and then the link to this. But there is or will be additional photos of recipes, like upcoming recipes, um, that I have not yet made or videotaped for you all on YouTube. So go check it out and if you don't mind, please be kind and give me a like on that page. It'll really help me uh, get uh grow my community and that way we can all share together okay with a bigger community base we'll get more recipe ideas in and we'll get creative with it mm -hmm. all right so anyway today we're going to do um chocolate chip cream cheese chocolate trifle cakes <laughs> That was long, wasn't it? Okay, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, now, mind you, I like to put in a little bit of pudding um, richness in my cakes. So, usually I'll do a cake from scratch today. Um, I am going to do one out of box. And I'm going to use a classic yellow cake and incorporate uh, the chocolate mix in this. Now, I won't need any sugar. Um, because this will be already sweet, but sugar would be part of a pudding kind of taste and stuff. I will be adding to that cake mix the cocoa, a quarter cup of cocoa to get it to be chocolatey. Um, also some cornstarch, that'll help it be a pudding, that make a pudding, with two tablespoons of butter, okay? In addition to the regular uh, oil, which is one third cup of oil. And you know, I like putting a half a cup of sour cream in my cake mixture. And instead of three eggs, which is what it calls for, um, right there, I'm gonna put in four, okay, with a cup of water. Now, if you wanted to put in some coffee, um, that would be fine too. I'd just be careful with the amount because you're working with uh, a lot of moisture, moisture ingredients here. And then um, we'll go ahead and incorporate all that together. All right, you also, for this recipe, you'll need um, some whipped topping, okay? You'll need two bars of cream cheese, which I have in the microwave because I didn't take it out in time. Um, I'm gonna use some uh, Nesquik chocolate syrup. now. I'm going to mix some of this with about, uh, oh, maybe a tablespoon of cornstarch and um, to make like as a liquid syrup throughout the cake. And then um, indulgent caramel flavor syrup for the top. You know, I'll probably use it to thicken this as well, some cornstarch that is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start and get started. I'm going to clear that out. Let me get the cream cheese. And that'll be two bars of cream cheese. Okay, so two bars of cream cheese. And I guess the first thing we're going to do, you'll need some powdered sugar with this. And um, I will put about a quarter cup of... Um, heavy whipping cream, all right? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna whip the heavy whipping cream, we'll, then we'll, or we'll whip the heavy whipping cream separate. We just want it into some soft peaks, um, but we're going to whip the cream cheese first, get it real nice and soft, and then we'll incorporate the powdered sugar and, and then fold in the heavy whipping cream, okay? And um, if you wanted to add a little bit of to, um, oh, Lord, I can't speak today. Cream of tartar, 
you know, like a quarter teaspoon or a teaspoon. That would be fine too, to firm that up a little bit. Um, and then some of your whipping cream in there. Also, if you want to use that instead of powdered sugar, okay? So, gauge as you go. It's to taste. So if you've got a sweet tooth, you may want to put a bit more than what I'm going to put. Um, so there's one. We're going to go get a mixing bowl. That would be nice, wouldn't it? buried in my other bowl, so I'm going to rinse this out, and we'll go ahead and get started. Let me move some of the stuff out the way, that way we'll focus on one pro procedure at a time. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to make the cake first. Let me turn my oven on. So, bake. What does this say? Thirty minutes, I guess, and we're gonna bake at three fifty. So let's start that, and let's get our ingredients to mix this cake mix. Now, mind you, I have my white and dark chocolate chips here, which I'm going to use. Okay. Here I have a bar of semi-sweet chocolate, Giardelli. I have about a quarter cup of brown sugar and I think it's two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add a little bit of table cream to that and go ahead and get this melted because that'll be the syrup which I'm going to, I'll probably incorporate the, the rest of this, it's not much in here, in with that once that's melted and that's what I'm going to use for the bottom to sit the cake on, you know, the syrup, the nice thick uh, syrup for the bottom. Yeah, so. That's going to work out well, okay? So let's go ahead and get this low heat. Bring you over here. So you can see what I am doing. I'm going to turn this on low to about a two for right now. Then put some of this milk in here. About a third of a can of this table cream. Nice and rich. And get that started. Use a wooden spoon, of course. Now, usually you put this in a bowl and then put the bowl over the, the pot. I'm old school. <laughs> so, let's see. It's already melting. So, it doesn't take long. Just put it in a, a coated saucepan so it doesn't stick to the bottom right away okay so we're going to get a bowl for a cake mix and a sheet pan Put our water in here. One cup. One cup of water is what you're gonna need. Okay, we're gonna put in our corn 
corn starch. Give that a good mix. Cold water and corn starch because you want to get that corn starch diluted and to a milky substance. Okay. And your cocoa. That too. I'm gonna whisk that in there. Again, if you have have a pot of coffee, if you have any coffee left over, you can do like a little quarter cup. Throw it in here, get that little nice coffee flavor. Or you can put some in everything that you mix. Alright, so now we're going to put in... Cake mix, yellow cake mix. Now you only use the cocoa if you have yellow cake mix. If you have a chocolate cake mix, you don't need to put the cocoa. In. Okay. I'm gonna cut it in half. Get that mix in there really well. I'll go ahead and melt this butter. sour cream tablespoons of butter. That those two tablespoons of butter will make up for the added dry ingredients, which is the cocoa and the cornstarch. Okay. We're gonna make sure that most of that cake mix, the white cake, yellow cake mix is broken up chocolate. That's why we only put in half at a time. Okay. This the other half. I'm going to put in a little bit more table cream. I don't know how to put that It's going to take uh, 
about five ounces of this 7.6 fluid ounce can of table cream. Or you can use milk or evaporated milk. Two thirds cup. significant other Steve thank you guys I had a great time Hobson and I had a great time we went to um, that's my stove telling me it's heated to 350 um, or rather my oven we went up to Huber's Huber's um, restaurant Put a little bit of that in there. All right, we're gonna mix this up really well. So today's good weather too. Pups and I finally decided that it's time to put the house on the market, probably this time next year. Or before that, probably around June or so next year. So we're starting preparations now because you have to, you know, start early to be ready. Timing is everything. And yeah, we're going to get a camper and maybe travel a little bit before we settle at a picked out, already picked out campsite and military. Of course, so which is protected by the MPs, the military police, so for safety. And uh, we'll do that until we are, are ready to buy a plot of land, hopefully around 12 acres, and um, start building our own home, our dream home. You know, and those are the steps you take. First, you go to the smallest place you can until you get, you know, established in a career, you know. And uh, then once you establish your career, you hopefully find your significant other, with God's help, let him appoint you the right person. And then you build together you know, find a small house or something, and build on that, you know, improve the house, so that when you go to, go to sell, it's worth, it's worth something, you know, worth a lot more than what you've paid for it. I'd say about five years is a good, five to six years, or anywhere between five to eight, depending on income and stuff. And what you do is, see, this my chocolate mixing. And what you do is, you know, you save and improve and then you sell the house and you make plans for your next move. And if you have the funds right away to build and buy acres or and rent out your house or you feel like you need to sell it to make the next move, whatever, whatever your goals are and, you know, within your within your means. Never bite off more than what you can chew. And always ask God for his hand of favor because he'll direct you. Trust me. He's been doing that to Hubster and I and he's never let us down. Now we have, you know it's a learning process because sometimes 
your will gets in the way of God's will. And we run into circumstances where out of, you know, pure lust for something or for the next step or just you in a hurry, you know, we've done our will and it never works out. It never worked out. We didn't do it too much, but every once in a while you get excited and, you know, you... Your, the Holy Spirit within you is telling you, you know, that dwells within you is telling you, no, 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 hold on, something better is coming. Well, God's got something better for you, but you jump into it anyway, and then, you know, God does, you know, this. <laughs> and it sets you back a little bit so that you'll learn because His judgment is loving kindness because it corrects you and it molds you to be wiser and better so he can bless you more but anyway that's the way we live <laughs> you know to each his own I'm not trying to preach here I'm just telling you what works for what has worked for us and continues to work for us and all weapons formed against us by the enemy or demonic forces, whether in spiritual, supernatural form or in the flesh, shall not prosper. Because we declare the victory and we always put on the full gospel armor of God. And he walks before us, behind us, beside us, all around us, and keeps us within his hedge of protection. And so... You know, we have to have spiritual discernment, his, to know when we have to fight. And we fight with prayer is out of the seven weapons that we have, five are shields. They're defensive, okay? Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Two of them are offensive, meaning to attack. And that is the sword. You have, you know, the first five are shield. And then the other two is the sword, which is the sword of truth, God's gospel, you know, in prayer and supplication. You know, prayer and supplication is one category. When you pray, you put in your request. When you lift up the, the uh, your loved ones and, and the enemy also in prayer and yourselves and whatever the cause is, is your supplication, whatever you're asking for. So, yeah, so you have five shields and two swords and that's the sword of truth prayer and supplication or supplication and prayer I should say or just prayer okay so that's what we that's how we live that's what we live by all right so I went ahead and got my sheet pan what I usually use when I'm making um, cake uh, trifle so we've got that so now we're going to put it in the oven is hot we are going to add water to the bottom tray that I keep in the bottom of the oven we're going to go ahead and, and if you see any little lumps try to get them before you drop them in there will be some that gets away I wouldn't worry too much because they'll when they bake they'll bloom up and they'll get incorporate it in but if you see one go ahead and help it out okay that's as far as I'm gonna go with that now I need a spatula see how it's like a pudding yep that's what I want a pudding cake in my trifle. It's a lot richer. And it absorbs. It doesn't get mushy, soggy, you know, with all the syrup and stuff. It absorbs a lot of that moisture. So. Spread 
this out. You have little tiny pieces of white uh, cake mix, but that's okay. Or yellow. That's okay. It's so tiny. So, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put my eggs in here. So, guess what I'm going to do? Mix it right in here. I sure am. Mix it in one at a time. Number two. Blooper! But fixable. So you mix it in real good in the middle first. Oh, that umbilical cord thingy. Let me get this out. It's a small umbilical cord, but sometimes you get these big, chunky ones, and I don't like that. Okay. Put in four now. Oops. Okay. So. Hmm, I think it's got some big umbilical cords. Big eggs. Well, bigger than when I, they usually come. <coughs> this will give me a chance to break up some of that cake mix, doesn't it? A little tiny. Crumbs or lumps of cake mix. How much smoother that is. Much better. Everything for a reason, I'm telling you. Alright, and then one more. And we're done. Let me rinse my hands off real quick. Okay, this one doesn't seem to have such a big umbrella for it. But we shall see once I mix it. Sometimes it hides underneath.
I said a beautiful cord. Well, it kind of is. Placenta, I guess. Placenta cord. So this was the last egg in here. I'm going to give this just a little bit more of a mix and then I'll put it in the oven and we'll go ahead and start on our mixing of the filling. Okay. smoother and get some of this air out. Okay, we'll go just through the top and do bust them little air bubbles. Oh tomorrow's Labor Day. barbecue I guess. Alright we have our eggs in. We're going to put this in the oven. Put some water at the bottom. Jeez. Oh, cheese filling. Be right back. Okay. I've already got one bar of cream cheese in there, so I'm opening uh, the second one. Before I gave you the second one. Alright, so we're going to whisk this down. It's okay to use your mix with the chocolate because we're going to add chocolate anyway. Mix that up. 
This is why it's important to get your cream cheese real soft. Leave it out of room temperature ahead of time. So that everything mixes well. I think I mashed it enough to where I can use a spatula now. Cheese. And one more half teaspoon left. I mean, teaspoon left in there. Vanilla extract, cream cheese extract. that in really well all right okay so once that's mixed in there good we are going to add a uh, half a cup of powdered sugar okay and blend that in there to add in there a bit of cream cheese. We're going to mix some heavy whipping cream and then get the bowl I have for it that's in the freezer. And it's wet. And we're going to beat it to peaks. Whip it up to peaks. Okay. Here's the bowl. Put about a cup in there. I went by eye. this okay wash it off for this hey we're gonna get our motion blender and this lid I guess because this will splatter so in the beginning so I'm gonna cover it with this Okay, 
see how much he splatters? <laughs> There, just a little bit more. All right, we got peaks. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and put that. Fold this in. filling and my phone keeps dropping. Not sure what's wrong with it. There we go. Okay. So that's a cream filling. As soon as the cake is done, I'm gonna shower cap this. Actually, what I want to do put some Cool Whip in here as well. Not too big. Two big serving spoons full. Okay, and then I've got the rest of it um, for the for when I uh, assemble the trifle. A little bit more of this chocolate. That's Jardelli, whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, 
cream of tartar, and a teaspoon. I'll let this set in the refrigerator. Oh, I smell that cake already. I haven't put the timer on either. Y'all didn't remind me, but I can tell by the smell. Excuse me, that it's almost done. shower cap this delicious combination and check on the cake I'm thirsty I have to drink some ice water that good. <laughs> Let me check my cake. Yeah, it looks about done. I'll tell you, you can tell by the smell. So, I gotta check it in the middle. See if it's completely done because this is a pudding cake, so it'll trick you. Alright, going in the middle, guys. Yep, still needs a little bit more time. So I'm going to say about 10 more minutes and it should be done. I put the timer on this time, didn't I? <laughs> Shower cap. Coming right up. Alright, so when I come back, the cake should be done and I should have the trifle cake before you all. I mean, the trifle Oh, wipe clean and ready to go, ready to be stacked. Okay, everyone, we're back. I have my trifle bowl. It's time to assemble. This is my favorite part. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and I got my bowl. I, I wiped it out. You know, with a damp cloth. I've got my chocolate chips in here. And some white. I'm going to put the, this on the top. You know. Um, I've got some of this uh, chocolate that I made. Melted the Gardelli. Gardelli. Uh, a semi-sweet chocolate bar and here's the cake nice and cooled off okay I let it cool off for about an hour right, so what we're gonna do is let's first cut the cake okay and we're gonna show you how we do that to go ahead and cut this cake up and just go straight down. Now you don't want to make the squares too chunky. Okay? You want small squares. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I, I took a while to come back. I think it was more than an hour. I think it's been, <laughs> let's see, yeah, two hours it's been. Because Hubster and I, you know, we just spent some time together. We're talking about stuff, the plans and stuff that I was telling you all about. And he went ahead and emptied the pool out, too, and wiped it down clean. And next thing he's going to do is... Uh, 
uh, bleach it down and with a mixture of bleach, water, and some mint oil. It keeps the insects away. You know, when you put it, when you're folding it and putting it up, putting it up, and because uh, uh, what we do is in the summer we bring out the pool, and the winter. And then we prepare for the winter, which is the barbecue pit with cement blocks and stuff. I think I have a video I'll probably share with you all. I'll have to go into the cloud or photos app to retrieve it. Yeah, I was uh, looking at it the other day. I don't think I shared it with anyone except on Facebook a little. It was last year's Feast of Tabernacles after we had taken the pool down and, and Hubster went ahead and set up the barbecue and benches made out of cement blocks and plywood or wood. Two by four, was it two by fours? Or four by sixes? David? Well, two by fours, yeah. And it turned out beautifully. So, until we get the area to the far right that we have blocked off, until we get access to it, because the shed is right in front of us, so we're going to move the shed to the other side of the house so we can work on that, um, that platform. And uh, we're going to set up, actually... Cement up that ground and put a nice barbecue pit area. So until we get to do that, we'll we'll just continue to use the, the space where we put our pool every summer. And I'll show it to you. I'll share that video. Okay. Here, look how look at this. Look, I'm going to show you how. Look at that. Look. See how moist that is? I'm going to taste it. Oh, my God. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. To me, it's got the perfect amount of sugar. And you notice I really didn't put any. All I did was put some in the... Uh, and the cream cheese filling is just about a cup of, uh, or half a cup rather, of powdered sugar to the cream filling. But this for me, for us, perfect. So I might like it sweeter, like I said. You have to gauge that to your taste. All right. So we pretty much have our cake. Hubs, do you want to taste it? You want to taste the cake for moisture? Sure, he says. <laughs> All right. So, oh my God, that is so good. So anyway, if this was, if I was making this for guests or, you know, if it was something, I would have had gloves on. But this is for the house. This is for Hubster and I, mostly for Hubster. Um, because I'll taste, um, I'll have a piece, maybe two out of the entire bowl, and, and that's it. Then I don't eat any more of it. I'm just not big on sweets. I'm more of a savory type of person. I like food. Uh, not too much on, you know, I'm not big on desserts, you know. But I'll taste it. I mean, I'm not against it. I love it. I'm just not big on it. I love making it though. We are going to get, I've got my whip topping out and I'm going to get my cream filling. How about that? Yay!
you know, with this, if you like fruit with chocolate, you know, like, I don't know, I like chocolate covered cherries and stuff like that. But if you like other fruits with chocolate, you know, you can put that in one of the layers too. So yeah, whatever. It's about getting creative in the kitchen, all right? And you do as you want to with your creation, all right? Okay, so here is the cream filling. I took off the shower cap, so you all know I had the shower cap on it. Um, here's the uh, chocolate syrup, and I'm going to go ahead and start off with that, okay? All right. And you want to get that as high up as you can so that it'll show, you know what I mean? It will show on the outside looking in. Alright, so we got that going on. We're going to put in some chocolate chips. Not a lot. Look at that. It's already melting. I'm going to throw this in the freezer for a few. I forgot to put it in the freezer when I was cooling off the cake. center part showing, not the end part, okay? So, let's go ahead and drop them in there. Drop it in the middle to bring up the chocolate syrup. So you drop it in there first. Usually we go around the edge first. Okay? So what do you think about the cake? Moist. Very moist, isn't it? Yeah, it's that sour cream for you. And the extra egg. Put in, drop in some of the cream cheese filling. Okay, we don't want to spread that out.
끓여 놓고 Oh yeah, we definitely have some cake left over, but the thing is, you can use that to make parfaits with. And I'm going to use a couple of pieces to crumble and put on top. some of this syrup you all enjoy these trifles that I make and I hope you all make it for your family or yourselves if you live alone or if you're a junior cadet I hope my instructions are very easy to follow let me know in the comments please how I stand with you all making it easy enough for you all to follow and let me know what I can do better. You know, I'm good with constructive criticism about the food now, not about me. Leave me out of it. <laughs> I'm just sharing, okay? So don't criticize me. But you can critique the food after you make it if you follow my recipe exact you know let me know you know what you do different what you found to be better or what you liked or didn't like because you know like I said it's about sharing okay This is a very rich cream filling. And since it has been refrigerated for a couple of hours, it's kind of thickened up, so, which is good. Thick and creamy. That's the idea. Alright, I got my two layers in. If you have a bigger trifle, then you just need to gauge maybe an extra, uh, double the recipe or an extra cream cheese bar and, you know, just gauge it. See how much you need to make if you have a bigger trifle bowl. This is a small one. I have a big one. But guess what? It's still over at my son's house. He's been swamped with work and life in general. He owns his own company. So, yeah. He sometimes works seven days a week. 
depending on the jobs. He, uh, he did our roof and, and siding. Oh, excellent job. And uh, he's with International. Uh, what What's uh, International Builders? Is his company's name. And his name is Lorenzo. And his number is 502. Here in Kentucky, 502. Uh, 644-6342 if you need any roofing or siding done. Now mind you, he also does floors. Now mind you, it's international builders, so it's international business. You know, different states. But call him and he'll direct you to the right contact for another state for the state you're in all right so there's the top layer all right so what we're going to do I'm gonna leave it chocolate like that but I am going to uh, pipe around and Let me sprinkle some of this, these cake crumbs on there. It's a good thing to do also as decorations. As a decoration, not decorations. <laughs> I'm telling you today I can't speak. Too much joy in my heart. Isn't that wonderful? I pray that for everybody. All right, so. We're going to just sprinkle some of the cake that I crumpled all around. Now you can put nuts on this also if you want. You know? That's good enough on that. So a whole bunch. I'm gonna make little parfaits with this. Um, all right, so we've got that. So I still have just a little bit of this icing. So I'm gonna see what I can do with it. Let me get my piping bag.
Okay. So let me do this. Put some Cool Whip in here. All right. Let's go ahead and shove that all the way down. All the way down. And there it is. Pin in, rinse out this. I mean the tip. Okay, we got that, we got the tip in. So what I'm going to do is put the rest of this cream cheese filling. It's only a little bit, but I can do something with it, surely. Surely. to go ahead and move all of it down. Right up in the middle. 
How's that? Huh? All right, we're not done yet, though. Okay, that took care of all of that filling. Okay. We'll put this cool whip away. Chocolate chips in between the white Cool Whip uh, decor. Whatever design you like, you know, like I said, this is your creation. If you make this, it is your creation. It does. I'm not a, a decorator by any means, trust me, or Piper or anything. I just give it what I can, you know, all I got. And I learn as I go. You know, I start to develop a natural movement, you know. two more and that's exactly what I have in my hands and we are done with that that's the top okay now we're going to some of the white
See, the white's easier to deal with because they're actually frozen. The chocolate ones, the dark ones, this is white chocolate. The dark chocolate melts, melts it a lot quicker. Hmm, that's funny, isn't it? Has anyone ever made a chocolate trifle cake before? I don't have to look to see. I just it just came to me. Oh, and believe me, I'm going to experiment with a whole lot more, like maybe mango. All the things that you usually make as a regular cake, I think I'm going to try in a trifle. You know, with all that cream filling around the cake instead of in the cake and stuff. And on top of the cake and all the juices. And... Uh-huh. That's what I'm going to do. And the reason why I'm going to do a little bit of everything is because not everybody likes chocolate or not everybody likes vanilla or not everybody likes strawberry or blueberry. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to make, huh, this one was wrong. I'm going to try to make something for everyone. Tips away. <coughs> okay, so with the rest of this, a little bit of chocolate. This will probably be a mess, so let me move my cutting board down. And move this up. Oh, right there. Let's see how this is going to look. Not very good at all if I don't get anything on the spoon, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
that's it. That's all she wrote. Okay, that's the chocolate here. It's going to be some caramel. You can't have, you can't lick the bowl on this. It's got chocolate in it. Make you sick. All right. Get my sprinkles out. All right. Here we go. Put a little bit of brightness in this. contribution to you all today let me move it over to a brighter spot got all this mess going on over here all right be right with you guys trying to dry up this area okay Take out this garbage. Alright. Put my scissors up. We're going to move the trifle to better lighting. Alright. Whoops, where's my can't find my wash rag, so I guess I'll get a new one, or a clean, cleaner one. Uh, wipe down this mat. Don't worry, I, I have forgot about you guys. I'm working over here on this other side of the camera, trying to get the counter ready. See? Okay. Puffster is going to take a nap. Okay, I'm going to move this beauty over here. Okay. Alright, you ready guys? Alright, here we go. Sorry if I made you dizzy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at all of that goodness there. Huh? Let's all right. There's that trifle. Mm -mm -mm. See? Chocolate syrup with chips. Here's the cream filling, Cool Whip, more chocolate syrup, cream filling. 
and the top. That's my chocolate try for you all. Oh, yes. I really don't want dirty dishes in the way when I take this picture. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I got a sink full of clean dishes. That's how much I cook around here. And then that that I just created. But here you go, folks. There it is. Take a picture. Take another picture. There it is, folks. That's my, let's see, what am I going to call it? Um, dark and white chocolate chip cream cheese chocolate trifle cake. Wow! <laughs> Cream cheese filled trifle cake. How about chocolate trifle cake? All right. Well, you all, that's all I have for you today. I want to thank you all for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Be kind. And poke that uh, subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Ding, ding. That way you can be notified every time I upload a new recipe. Okay, it's totally free, and I really don't want you all to miss out on any of my creative recipes. So, um, creative cooks, cookers, I guess, or chefs, um, creative cadets, and first-timers on here, I really appreciate you all. You know, take care of yourselves and one another, and God bless you. Bye for now.